MYLA, which is Mayor's Youth Leaders in Action Program. I go to Princess Anne High School and currently I'm an 11th, I'm a rising 11th grader. So today we are going to be making a cactus craft out of your hands. Actually, you'll be using your hands and a whole bunch of other materials that I'll show you right now. First, you will need um, three different colors of cardstock paper. It's just colored paper. So, there you'll need green, white, and brown. The green is for the cactus, the white is for your background, and then the brown is going to be for the pot. So, set this one aside. You'll also need a bowl and white paint yellow paint, and you'll put that inside of this bowl later on, a cup filled over with water to rinse off your paintbrush, um, some scissors, a pencil, and a glue stick. So, first off, I'm going to clear off my area over here. And I'm going to be cutting out a little strip of paper. So I'm going to move this aside. You're going to want to have a clear space so you can um, do this as neatly as possible. So you're going to need to cut along a little strip right here just about here maybe a little longer just cut that whole strip right there. and then set that aside and then you're going to want to cut a little long piece like this this much set the rest of this aside you probably won't need it after this so you're going to want to cut like a little triangle, like this. Cut the sides, so cut that triangle off. That's a scrap piece of paper. And then you'll want to do it again on this side. Another triangle, like that. So now you have your strip, like this. And then you have your scrap pieces, which you just set aside. If you want, I think it would be a better idea if you cut it so it would fit this side. It would fit the piece of paper. So what I'm going to do, since it doesn't fit, we're going to cut this side a little bit and then cut this side a little bit more as well. Just so you're able to minimize your paper use. That seems right. It's like a little pot. Okay, now you're going to set this aside and you're going to want to get your hand and your pencil and trace your hand. So I'm going to trace my hand around with this pencil. And if you need, just go slowly. like that. So I have one of my hands and then find another spot on the piece of paper where you can put your hand again. So you're going to need around maybe three hands at least. So I'm going to use this and then trace it again with my other hand. This sounds a little tricky because I don't write with my left hand. It's a little messy, but it's okay. The messier, the more it'll look like a cactus. But you'll still want to have your hand in the shape.
So that. And then I'll do another one of my hand here. And if you don't have enough room for your hand, don't worry. You can just get another piece of paper, another green piece of paper, and then um, trace your hand again. So those are my hands all on the piece of paper. So now we're going to use the scissors and we're going to cut cut um, on the lines that you drew of your hand. Another tip, you want to like cut the sides here so it like rounds a little bit. So this one, I'm just going to do it like this. Make sure you don't cut your fingers off. The paper one and your real one. Remember to set your scraps aside so you don't cut them again. I find it easier to cut around your hand on the paper so that you can really see what you're um, doing. You don't have all those extra scraps laying around. There you go. So now you have three hands, or your three um, cactus hands. So you want to turn them over, and so you don't see the lines where you drew. Um, you drew your with your pencil. We're gonna bring back this um, pot that we made earlier, and you're just gonna. Add your little cactus to the top, on top of the pot here. So you just want to place it a little bit and see where you want to add it. So that, like that. And then, obviously, the green won't show in an actual cactus, so we're going to do it like this, on top of the green and on top of the green as well. So next we're going to get the glue stick, open it, and glue down all of the stuff that we just did. So since I have bigger hands, it won't um, fit on this piece of paper. So I'm going to cut a little bit. You can see, I'm gonna cut down a little bit. And you're going to want this to be a little bit smaller than before. It should look a little bit like that. A little bit. So that's what you're going to want. See? And so you'll have a little bit more space. And you'll be able to see the top of the pot a little bit more. So we're going to glue this one down, twist, and put on this glue. Make sure you get every finger so it stays down. And then set that aside, place.
then we're going to glue on the pot. Put it like that. I'm going to trim it a little bit because it went over the line, but it doesn't really matter. Like so. So now it sort of looks like a cactus, right? But you're missing some things. The flowers on the cactus. So we're going to get your, set this on the side a little bit so it can dry. And then you're gonna get your bowl and your paint. So we're gonna put a little bit of yellow paint in this bowl. Just a little bit, you probably don't need that much. And then a little bit onto the side of white paint, like that. Just a little bit. You can see. Okay, good. Go get your cup and your paintbrush. Dip your paintbrush in the water to get it wet a little bit. And then just dry it off onto the side of the cup. Then you're gonna get some paint onto your paintbrush. Go get your cactus. And we're going to paint little flowers onto your cactus. These little flowers can be four leaf flowers or they can be four of five petal flowers. Doesn't matter. Just don't make them too big. Just like tiny ones so they're like accents. So like little stars. So now you're going to want to go get your water again and then just swish the brush inside of the water so that it'll turn a little yellow. Drag it across the sides of the cup so that you won't have excess water on the brush. And then dip again into the white. Dip your paintbrush back into the white. And then place a tiny dot in the center of the little flower things that you made. I accidentally got a little bit too much water on my paintbrush, but just remember to drag across the brim like this. Just a little tiny dot in the center of your flower. Almost done. And there we go. So you're gonna wash off your paintbrush again. And that's done. So now you're gonna wanna use your pencil and just write your name on this right here. So I'm gonna write T-R-I-S-T-E-N. A little smiley face. So there is your cactus. 
I hope you enjoyed making your little cactus thing because I did. I am going to be putting this up in my room and it looks really cute. It has my hands on it and even the little tiny flowers that I made. So I hope you had fun and you um, learned a little bit more about painting. So yeah, bye. Thank you.